Last year, I read a book called Refugee by Alan Grant. It is the story of three kids fleeing their homelands because of war or civil unrest. This book inspired me to help refugees and immigrants in our area. I work with the DeKalb International Student Center to provide gifts and needed items to students in need around the holidays. Some of these students have come straight from refugee camps. They have never lived in houses with running water or plumbing. This year, with the help of the 6th grade silver team and over 50 families around the Cater, I've collected over 300 gifts and lots more coats, shoes, and clothes for kids in need. This is my second year organizing this project from our house with the help of my mom. We are very fortunate to have the things we have and it makes me feel really good to know that I am helping people in need. Thank you to my teachers on the silver team and my classmates for helping me this year. Hi, my name is Scarlett. My mom and I have been volunteering at Fur Kids Cat Shelter here in Atlanta for many years. I started when I was only eight years old. We socialized and played with cats, which was really fun. And then we helped them get ready for their forever homes. I enjoyed working with Fur Kids because I got to play with adorable cats and learn how to take care of animals. Volunteering has helped me see how fortunate we are and how much fun it is to help others. Many families in Decatur are fortunate to have a roof over their head and dinner on the table. Because of this fact, we have ample opportunity to volunteer. It's a great experience for all ages. Transition Cat says hello and goodbye. Hi, I'm Maggie Kyle. In 2014, my six-year-old neighbor was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. This inspired me to volunteer by raising money for local children's hospitals. I set up a spirit night with Chick-fil-A and raised over $200. I did this because many kids like me don't have all the opportunities that I do because they have medical conditions. Helping them get better faster made me feel really good. This is why a culture of caring matters to me. My name is Isabella Cabrises and I'm in seventh grade. I volunteer in Ms. Gratzky's class and homeroom every morning. Ms. Gatsky teaches students with severe to profound disabilities. I go there to hang out with the kids and give them some friends who are their age. Twice a week, I sit with Ms. T's class at lunch. Ms. T teaches the students with moderate developmental disabilities. I eat with them so they can have friends. It is a lot of fun getting to know them. We are more alike than we are different. Every Friday, I go to the YMCA and help with Special Olympics swim team. I help kids, teens, and even adults with disabilities get better at swimming or learn how to swim. I will also be a part of a Special Olympics basketball team that has five kids with disabilities and five kids who don't. I also volunteer on Saturday mornings. I go to the gymnastics gym at the Decatur DeKalb YMCA and junior coach preschool gymnastics. I love to volunteer because it makes me feel good. It brings me and the people I'm helping joy. It is fun when you see someone you are helping grow and accomplish new things. It is a lot of fun while I'm there and I've made a lot of good friends and good memories. Thanks for watching. This was brought to you by Culture of Caring and RMS Media. Have a great day.